All right, we got a new bullet here. You'll notice it's powder coated. Screw high tech. I'm done with it. I'm over it. I can't get it. No matter what I do. Um, yeah. So how do we figure out what our overall length should be? And this this is a good tip if you have a bullet that has no overall length listed anywhere. Um, I'll show you how I do it. Give me one second. All right, first things first, field strip your gun, get your barrel. Um, yes, this is my 1911, by the way. I finally got it back. Look at that sight. Oh, yeah. Hell yeah. So, make sure your barrel's clean, like this one is. And then, seat the bullet to where you know, like, it has to be shorter than what you're seating it. So I'm going to try to put the case mouth right at the bottom of this top groove. Where I know it's going to have to be deeper than that, but that's just a starting point. So we'll go ahead and do that. All right, now that you got your bullet seated, um, run it up into your crimp die. And the only thing you're trying to do is just flatten out um, the case where the mouth belt was belled. Um, yeah, you don't want to crimp it into the bullet. You just want to straighten out the case. Okay, so you should have something like that. I know this bullet's going to be too long for my chamber, and that's what I want. So now, well, I guess that one's not too long for my chamber. <laughs> Alright, we'll do another one. Okay, I made it longer, so now it's absolutely going to touch the lands and do what I want it to do. Let me grab my calipers. Who is texting me? Uncle Jim. <laughs> uh, every time. No, I, he owes that to me. Every time he's shooting a video, I text him. Okay. Obviously, that's too long, right? So what I like to do is take my calipers and find out exactly how long Just like that. So this is sticking up 49, 50 thousandths past the hood of my barrel. So I know I have to be seated at least that much deeper in order to be touching the lands. So I'm going to seat this 50 thousandths deeper. What do I got for a length here? One point two five zero. So I need to be at one point two zero. Um, I'm going to go ahead and seat that bullet to that, and then we'll go from there. Okay, so we're at one point two zero, or really close. So I know this is touching my lands. Um, from here, I want at least ten thousandths off my lands. So then I seat this to one point one nine zero. Then after that, I will function test it. All right, guns back together. We are at 1.187, we'll call it. 1.188, okay. So these are Springfield 1911 mags. I, I love these. These are better than Shooting Star, the Chip McCormick's. I mean, they're great mags. Just getting that first round in there is kind of a bear sometimes. I really wish I had a one-legged tripod in the Pinewood Derby. <laughs> okay, so now we're going to feed test it. And to do this, let the hammer, or let the slide fly. I mean, just boom. Um, don't don't baby the slide when you're trying to initially get your your overall length when you're trying to figure out what's going to feed and what's not. You can do that um, after the fact. We'll try that once. We'll try to baby it up there and, and see. I yeah, see. 1911s are not a gentle feeding um, machine. So we'll see if we had any setback here, which I didn't crimp it very tight, so it wouldn't surprise me. Yeah, we had a little bit, not much. A thou. 
no big deal. That's again, no, no crimp on it. So that's to be expected. Um, so we'll see what happens when it, when I baby it up in there, I'm going to try to do this. Even still, I mean, it, it, it grabbed it out of my hand and just fed that thing like nothing. So I think I'm going to go with 1.185 for an overall length. Try to get that round out of there. And yes, it is primed. Um, yeah. And I know a lot of the 1911 guys you'll read on like the forums and stuff, the guys that shoot bullseye and all that. Um, they say to have like a, th a thumbnail thickness of your driving band sticking above your case mouth. And that's holding true to this. Because I mean, my thumbnail is right there. And you can maybe see, yeah, that is perfect. So that's that. And this one is in the Lyman book at 1.161. But if I shrink another 20 thou off of that, and just like Uncle Jim had happen to him, I'm going to be feeding brass. And I'd rather not do that. Um, I'll sit here and do this probably five, ten times just to make sure. Oh. Normally I don't do that. Come on. Come on now. What are you doing? But see, I babied the slide up there. And it fed in like nothing. These mags are a pain in the ass to get that first round in. Mag in. That one felt a little weird. But it went in. Oh yeah. There it is. There's a smiley. See how that's just sitting back. Nope, oh, still the same. So yeah, I'm I'll keep doing that. And if I can do it ten times, I'll go with that length. If it hangs up once or twice, I'll shorten it up five thousand, see what happens, and I'll keep repeating that until I get good performance. Um so yeah, if you if you got a bullet you can't find the overall length in any manual, that's a good way to to figure out what your gun wants. I know a lot of you may know this, but some may not, and that's that's the method I've been using. So hope everybody's having a happy Thanksgiving. Hope this helps somebody, and take care. All right, I just ran this through the mag about eight or ten more times, and it was flawless. It didn't have any hiccups. It was great. Um, you're going to beat your bullet up pretty good doing this over and over on the same bullet, but it didn't set back. It actually grew in length because I deformed the nose a little bit. But, yeah, you're going to beat your brass up. I mean, I'm not going to probably reuse this case. I'm going to probably pull the bullet and throw the case away and melt the bullet back down. But at least now I know that the book length, I, I'm i not going to use that. I'm going to use this. Um, and even if this does, you know, come out perfect at home and then you go to the range and you have some hiccups, well, you only load up, you know, maybe 25, 50 rounds. And if you have an issue... At least you're only pulling that many bullets or seating that many bullets deeper instead of loading up a shitload without test firing it. I mean, that's kind of common sense there. But yeah, I just wanted to show you all how I do that. That that brass is rough. So, yeah, I can't wait to get out and test that site out. Mm -hmm. Yes. Good upgrade right there. I'm going to actually be able to see what I'm doing now. All right. I'm done rambling. Thanks. Take care. Happy Thanksgiving.